uh, you know, they they met in the first round of the playoffs last season. Uh, both QBs were phenomenal in that game, 120 uh, plus QB ratings in those ones. And the game finished 24 to 23, so 47 points, which is you know four four and a half points shy of this total. But uh, you know, it, it's one of those ones where I look at it, you know the the Detroit Lions, uh, it, it, Detroit Lions in that game. There was 37 points at halftime in that game, only nine points in the second half. Of that one, I, I believe nine points in the second half of that one, uh, and the Lions were just trying to win a playoff game, their first since '92. I was 24 back then. Uh, the last time they won a playoff game, I think it was against the uh, the Cowboys. But uh, you know, this is a new season, week one. Uh, obviously, some changes to this Rams team. I do like the Rams uh, to have a really good season. I'm not sure if they're going to be ready out of the gate defensively, though. Um, obviously, um, uh, Arnold no longer there. This is a guy that. Uh, last season was double teamed on on 63% uh, of the plays that he was in uh, this season. This is, uh, I think there's a youth movie uh, with that defense as, lo- as, as far as the defensive line and and linebackers on this Rams team. Four of their six picks in this uh, in this draft were uh, on uh, defensive uh, defensive linemen um, and the defensive front. So we'll see what they have, you know, tr- uh, Tredavious White. This is a guy, Lawrence. That I'm a Bills fan. Um, I loved when this guy was on our team, but this guy wasn't on our team for the last couple of years. He spent so much time uh, on that injury reserve list, and he's got to be ready um, right from the get-go. Because you look at the tools on, uh, you know, the offensive tools on this team. Obviously, Jared Goff, St. Brown, Gibbs, Montgomery, Laporta, and and I know that there's some speculation about guys like Gibbs and Laporta coming into. Um, whether they're going to be ready for uh, uh, the first game of the NFL season, they are going to play. According to Dan Campbell, uh, they sat out the, the the three preseason games. They were on the field. They were practicing. He, he said he saw nothing that would exclude them from uh, from playing. Whether they manage um, um, how many plays are on the field remains to be seen. But Laporta had a great season last year. And it's a Rams team. That if you look at the Rams last season, they allowed if uh, where is the numbers here? They allowed the the most uh, the six six most um, receiving yards to uh, tight ends, um, the third most touchdowns to tight ends as well. To um, how ready are they going to they are, are they going to be? I'm not entirely sure, Lawrence. Uh, and this is why I think it's going to be a high scoring game because you got Stafford on the other side. I get it, an aging quarterback or a guy who's off a very good season, a full season of Cooper Cup. Obviously, Puka right back in there. I've got him on my fantasy team. I'm excited about that. And then new kickoff rules. Ky, uh, Kyrie Williams is actually returning punts. A little surprised by that. I think a lot of people are surprised he's returning punts. But the NFL has put this rule change in because they want uh, they want these down kicks. They want uh, they want some action. They want some scoring. Primetime unders were a thing last year, almost 70%. I don't see it being a thing this year. I think we're going to see higher scoring across the board. And I think the, you know, if we see it early on in the first few weeks of the NFL season, we're likely going to see some of these totals adjust, especially with teams with good uh, kick return games. Um, the over seems like the play for me. Ram, uh, Rams four and one to the over the last five road games last season to end the season. Uh, Detroit, uh, nine straight overs in openers against NFC opponents. Um, and this is a team with the number two passing um, offense last year, 258.9 yards. I'm looking for this one to come down to who has the last possession in a high-scoring game, and I'm waiting for you, Teddy, so come at me. Well, let's see. The Lions stayed under in the season opener last year. You talked about how well the quarterbacks played in the postseason. That game stayed under the total, and Sean McVay in season openers, 5-1 and one to the under last six. Uh, consistent unders again and again. Do any of those worry you about this one? I mean, and you also said, oh, we're definitely not going to see that 70% primetime unders again this year. Why not? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I think, yeah. this new, I, I think this new kickoff, I think this, yeah, no, I think this new kickoff rule was put in place um, to put points on the board, Teddy, uh, to, to have more action. And you look at it and you look at some of the, the you know, just the rule, just to go over this, um, this rule in general. You know, the, the the kicking team cannot move until the opposing player, the kick the ten players on the line cannot cannot move until the oppo- the opposing kick returner has touched the ball. Um 
this is going to give a guy like Williams, um, who returned punts in college, uh, not a ton of them, but he returned, and a guy that anytime you put the ball in this guy's hands, um, he is going to he is he is going to put on a show. Um, I know a lot of players. When you had a running back and your number one running back, you don't want to see him returning punts because you worry about the injuries. But uh, th- I think this rule's in place to increase scoring across the board, and I think it's going to have yeah. that effect at least um, at least early on uh, until teams can make an adjustment. And I'm not really sure what adjustment you can make uh, as far as um, as far as this this new uh, kickoff return thing. I, I just think we see the points here, Teddy. I'm, I'm not really worried about last year's prime times because I think that, you know, you look at the trend the last five years and you can say the last five years, uh, prime time unders have been profitable. I think uh, over uh, almost 260 or 270 games, 50 more games have gone under than have, have gone over. So you think that is great, but these are why the rules were put in.